Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask Bill. I'm with comic book creator William Mesner Lobes. We're in his beautiful studio here where we're going to ask Bill some questions. Thanks for coming again, Bill. Well, thank you, Mike. This is, this is great. We love all you people. <laughs> but before we get to the questions, we actually have some work for Bill to do. We've got a few uh, fans that have sent some stuff in for Bill to sign and actually ink. And we also have another auction winner, Clayton Merwin. So let's get to those books first, Bill, and then we'll get to your questions later. Okay, so here we go. All right. We'll start off with uh, with Clayton's comics. So uh, it is Bliss Alley. Oh, okay. And um, I so, can uh, help you take the books out here if you want to just push down in the... Okay. Okay. So we have Bliss Alley will be the, the first issue there. And they were just, you're just going to write that out to uh, to Clayton. No, no, this, he doesn't want to personalize. He so doesn't want to personalize. Ju just a signature would be great. He's just hoping that I die soon. So <laughs> it's, oh, they'll become very valuable. Very valuable. Right. Oh, yes, let's actually do this. So. And then, then we've got issue number two. Is So uh, Clayton was on the auction on your Facebook group, which is fans of William Mesner Loeb's. Yes. And... He won it for actually a graded copy of Journey number nine, which we will talk about here shortly. Uh, Journey number nine was, uh, you have told me that that was your favorite cover. Well, it, it was. It was, uh, it was something that I had, I was always looking for, for different motifs for the wilderness to do the covers. Uh, and you know some of them were a little more uh, uh, wilderness oriented than others. And they, uh, there's a theory about magazine sales that that white covers sell better than every every other kind of color. Huh. So I at least had I wanted to have that first cover there in in white, and I and I I I also wanted to have it have this be a little little different than the journey covers that I had done which were you know bled right out to the edge uh, so that particular cover was uh, uh, was was very uh, was as you can see very white and and blue with just a little tiny bit of red in it I did a, another one, as a matter of fact, that was a, was more had more different kinds of colors in it, and uh, Nadine and I discussed it, and I realized, no, this is uh, this is this is too many different kinds of colors. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, one of the one of the raps about me. In, in Journey and in my other work was that I didn't really understand heroism. And so and I've never quite I've never quite understood that criticism in the broadest sense. But my uh, uh, but even John, Don Thompson was, was working writing in the CBG at that point was saying that uh, you know this was this was not superheroes because there was there was not anything that was heroic about it. Another fan sent us some uh, artwork and he just wanted them signed. And one of them is the book Unforgotten, which is a benefit book for Bill. You want to hold that up, Bill? And I'm going to hold it right th up. Here. Those are out there, and he wants his signed. And the good news is he got two copies, so he is going to let us have the other one. So we will be auctioning that off. Real good book, a lot of art in there, a lot of, of real good talent. So if you want to sign that yeah. for him. Yeah, I actually I actually went through it myself and, and I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's got uh, some nice stuff in it. And uh, so we will we will sign this. Now am I signing this to him? I or? think he's just uh, just a signature. Oh, okay. And uh, I remember when we first lost our lost our first house, uh, which was now about mm, twenty five years ago, something like that, and uh, 
people actually drew drew our our problems into a comic book, and they said, uh, uh, you know, and and in it they said, you know, the the elderly cartoonist and his wife, uh, who have fallen on such hard times that it's like, oh God, I wonder what I'm what I'm going to do when I'm 20 years older, <laughs> and I'm and I'm even more elderly. Uh, it's so hard to know. I, you know, that's the weird thing about age is that uh, I suppose in, a, in an industry where people start out when they're 15 and 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 end up getting another career when they're 30, uh, I guess I guess being 70 is 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 a. But you know, if I was if I was the Pope. I would still be, uh, I would consider, be considered too young to be the Pope, so. He also sent us, and this was Fernando, so what can you tell us about this piece of work? Hmm, it's, it, well, we were still being published by Piranha Press, which was uh, DC Comics' uh, attempt to, uh, to do a, uh, uh, an underground, a series of underground books, basically. And for that, they actually did a pretty good job. Uh, now, whose signature is next to yours? It's going to be next to yours there. Oh, well, this will, this is Sam Keith's signature right here. And he's done a little sketch. Reminds me of the, uh, when, 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 I, when, I, when a friend of mine at the convention, who shall remain nameless, uh, uh, saw that I what I was doing and I was putting in I was signing the convention page and then And he said god damn you lobes now we all have to do sketches <laughs> All right, Fernando also sent and he got this off of eBay Here we'll do oh, you we'll do, do my, we'll do my second signature sketch which is this one and uh, since since Sam has now started doing sketches, uh, he must he must curse me out every day. There we go. Okay. And, uh, and here's the uh, the other sketch that you did that he Fernando got off of eBay and he, he wants you to ink that so that's what we're gonna and you can see that uh, that I actually idiot proofed the uh, uh, the sketch papers that I was doing that day so I would remember that it was supposed to be a max drawing <laughs> and unfortunately that's all the time we have for this episode so while Bill continues on work I'd like to thank Chris Sundberg for the use of his office in, in uh, Bill's new studio and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Make sure that you follow Bill on his uh, Facebook group, Fans of William Mesner Lowe. Till next time. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, Mike. as a poster you know I think that would be one of the two or three color things that would be really neat to have ten or so copies of mm -hmm. um, and of course to do it <laughs> we're not utilizing the negative space quite so much because it, it, it ha I had no choice that was that was the size I had mm -hmm. okay so okay B Bill does uh, in fact, uh, what happened was that I was uh, I was at a convention in Albuquer Albuquerque, New Mexico. I remember that because we were all in, in fear of our lives. It was so hot that that, that summer, and uh, if you walked outside to even get something extra to eat or anything, you suddenly realized you were getting faint and were a little afraid of being found. 
But this was also the convention just after the first Michael Michael Keaton Batman. And so I uh, and it, so n oh, nobody wanted anything any sketches except Batman and I was uh, I was initially flummoxed because I realized after the first couple of attempts that when I tried to draw Batman straight it was uh, it looked like Wolverine McAllister in a badly fitting Batman uniform and uh, so I tried to come up with something that would be a little more uh, a little more cartoony and a little more iconic and a little something closer to what I could actually do. Um, so that was uh, and I wanted a drawing because certainly at that point there were a lot of instances where they would have like a one page sketch drawing page in the uh, in the magazine that the that the convention had put out and so I uh, uh, I wanted to have something that I could do very quickly in that because people would just come around at the end and especially little kids would come up and say oh could you do me a sketch and uh, well, the reality is, I would I, I did not want to say to an 11 year old kid who had come here and spent the whole day and all of his allowance wandering around and saying, well, you know, you'll have to pay me a hundred dollars, kid. Uh, so I came up with something that I could draw basically for free, and uh, so that was uh, and it and it would fit in. You know, it would just be lines, and it would fit in very well with the signature. So that was, so that was uh, what I was thinking. And uh, I was one of the few people that really, really liked the first Batman movie when it first came out. Uh, I still think the bat that uh, that Michael Keaton makes the best best. Uh, Bruce Wayne, and it really doesn't matter if he makes the best Batman, if he's the best Bat Bruce Wayne.